Hey folks, it's James. It's day seven of the 12 days of Procreate. And that means I get to share one of the most useful tools for architects, interior designers, and space planners, namely importable FF&E templates. So get out your iPads, download the free assets in the description below, and get ready to transform your plans with importable FF&E templates in metric and imperial sizes. And then I'll add the original furniture template in here from the assets that we got that came with the course okay so i want to go to insert a file i'll go back to the icloud drive home page and i will go to ff and e imperial 1 8 inch equals a foot i'll launch that and down here is my 17 by 11 ffe template and i'll tap on that and that has every kind of placeholder furniture you would like. So I'll come inside of this now and I'll grab some of this bedroom furniture. So let me quickly grab a double bed and I'll tap on the selection tool in rectangular mode and I'll find the smallest queen bed set up here and grab it, copy and paste onto its own layer. And there it is. And now I'll move that into the bedroom. Let's get closer here and see what we're doing. And sometimes these, these stencils will be lighter than you would like. And in that case, you can just come in here and duplicate it and then put it in multiply mode. And it'll get darker just like that. It may have appeared subtle, but that's what will happen. And now that same room, and I told you, remember, that this, this is a second home. And these rooms are deliberately kept small to be very intimate and make it feel like it's kind of vacation-y. So now I'll duplicate that. I'll tap the Move and Transform tool. And I will flip the vertical. And that will bring... That way I can bring that bed up and use it in the other room, okay? And let's put a chaise lounge outside here. I'll reactivate that main template layer. And I'll go to the bathroom this time. And I'll pick... Now this is interesting. They've actually got... We've got pre-made bathrooms if you want them. But we have kind of a custom bathroom going on here. So I will still, I'll make sure I'm in that layer. I'll tap selection mode and rectangular mode. And I'll start by grabbing this commode here. Copy and paste onto its own layer. There it is. Turn off main template layer. Bring toilet down. Rotate, make it easier. Sometimes it's just easier to rotate things. Two, three, four, all the way around and up here. And actually, this makes me feel a little better. I'm going to I'm going to turn off snapping now, by the way. And um, seeing this uh, makes me feel better about the size of that space. So that's good. And then I'll finish up here. And I'll reactivate that again. And let's put in a bathtub and a sink. So let's pick this. Let's see if that double sink will fit. And now we don't. Well, do we need a double sink? Sure. Let's try the double sink. And I'll go to rectangular selection mode. Copy and paste on its own layer. And move it here. And I'll rotate until it gets to the right orientation. One, oops, sorry. Undo, two fingers. Rotate. And it looks like it might just fit. And if it doesn't, I'll just, I'll just take a little bit off of each side. Okay. So I'll go back to my rectangular tool. And I'll just copy or I'll select the very ends of this and I'll do a three finger swipe and cut that off 
and now that fits in there. It probably needs to go back this way a little bit, and maybe I'll also, well, it looks like our door might be too small now, or too big, but let's keep it there for the moment, okay? So, what we have learned is that with a combination of templates and freehand drafting and selection tools and move tools, we've really got a, a system here where we can quickly verify whether a, a plan is really working, whether our design is really working. To go into more depth of any of the lessons in this video series, check out the link to the Procreate Accelerator in the description below. To see the next video in this series, click on the image you see here, and I will see you in the next lesson.